Hey everybody again, it's Yugo and Boxer. First of all, I want to say please subscribe to my channel. Uh, check it out for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos such as binder videos, pack openings, and more deck profiles. Um, hopefully by the end of this week or early next week, I will have my booster box of Battle Pack Epic Dawn in from Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint.com. Check out the description below for the link to their website. Uh, great prices, just bought a bunch of singles including one single that I think is awesome a foil curse of dragon beautiful my heretic deck uh, which I will have a video posted of that as my heretic deck v2 so anyway let's get started as you can see that it, this is going to be a gaga -ga -ga magician kind of base deck okay so for this deck we run three Ga, ga ga magicians. Um, what I like about this card is it can once per turn you can switch into any level you want. So, in doing so, you can make it a level one to level eight. I love it because uh, partnered with Cyber Dragon, you can get things like Adrius and Tyrus. Things with Goblinberg, you can get things like Utopia, C thirty nine, Knight Pearl, uh, Kochi. Kachi Kochi Dragon or whatever his name is and stuff like that so that's why we run him and plus he has 1500 attack power so he can be searched out with Mystic Tomato and cards like that Sangan all that fun stuff our next monster is three Goblinbergs and look beautiful Starfoil um Goblinberg is an amazing card I recommend running it in any deck that uses a lot of level 4 monsters what you do is you just summon them then you can special summon a level 4 lower monster from your hand and then switch him to defense mode. He can also be used for a synchro summon too, so if you're wanting to do him in a synchro deck, go ahead. But I primarily use him with cards like Gaga Ga Magician, so I can get out Pearl or my um, Utopia just for defensive reasons. Our next card, I only run two of. I want to run three, but I can't find my third copy, but I don't think you need to. Is two. Ga, Ga Ga Magicians. Ga 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 Magicians are a pretty cool card. When you attack directly, you can special summon them from your hand in whatever position you want. And then, once per turn, you can... Actually, no, sorry, not once per turn, just whenever. Discard one card from your hand. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. So, as long as you have cards in your hand, you can stop it. Uh, and this card actually worked really well in an Infinity deck. Though, it is not dark type, so I guess, you know, if you're doing a dark build, then you can't. But yeah, so he's just another level 4, partners with Gaga. Ga Ga. Our next card is two Cyber Dragons. Uh, pick this one up from my friend. Pretty nice. Anyways, um, Cyber Dragon, once again, kind of like the Gaga Ga Ga thing. Special summon him. And then, on your turn, hopefully, on, uh, we on your turn. I ho you hopefully play another Gagaga, -ga, get him out, then get Adrius. That's the only reason to. And then you can turn into Fortress Dragon with this card too. So it's not bad. Our next card is another Cyber card to add to the machine count. Is Cyber Valley. Cyber Valley is just another defensive card and just some draw power. Since this deck actually does a lot of special summoning, uh, you want to actually not use a lot of cards that would use up your special summon for the turn so this not only does it protect you on your turn it also gets you a card and if you really want to uh, exceed into a level one you can our next card is another card to use around our gaga -ga -ga magician two phantom of chaos and file wants to uh, phantom of chaos you can remove from play a monster in your graveyard and it gains the name and the effect of the card I think it also gains its attack and defense as well. Um, no, sorry. I d okay, yes, it does. It, only its attack, sorry, not defense. But what you do is you just use it to copy and level. So if you have Cyber Dragon out, a Valley out, or something along the lines of that, you know, you can just succeed into whatever you want. Two Effect Veilers. You know, any every deck runs Effect Veiler. It just shuts down effects, and then you can also use it to Synchro Summon pretty much only into Cataster or Brionic. So, you know, it's just really 
another defensive card. Uh, Wangora's boss monster, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Gale, another tuner, also cuts attack. Uh, Sangan, search engine, as long with Mystic Tomato. So, 20 monster count, pretty, you know, basic. Alright, I think the consistency is okay. I wouldn't recommend this deck in tournament play. It's just a fun deck to use around home or with whoever you want. And then, for our spell count, we have two Gagaga -ga -ga Bolts. Since you run five Gagaga -ga -ga Monsters, I do want Gagaga -ga -ga Girl, so if you have her and willing to trade, please uh, post a comment or PM me. I check all the time, but I do work a lot, so if I don't get back to you right away, sorry about that. Uh, Gagaga -ga -ga Bolt destroys one card on the field. It's pretty just good, you know. Rise of the Snake Deity, I mean, Offerings to the Snake Deity, and stuff like that. So, our next one, to Star Changer. Uh, Star Changer is just to change the levels of the other monster with Gagaga. -ga -ga. I, I'm actually going to change this to 3, because Star Changer is actually a really good card. Uh, partner it up with things like Gagaga -ga -ga against and Cyber Dragons, or Sangans, or whatever you want. You can make it a bigger one to get out a bigger exceed. Two Forbidden Lance. You sure we can cut down a monster's effect? I mean, Spell and Trap card ability. Like, seriously, if Spell and Traps hit our guys, we might be done for, especially Dimensional Prison. So if you activate this, not only will he gain 800 attack power, he won't be affected by those cards. So it's pretty cool. And it prevents uh, Gaga -ga from going into the grave. I mean, removed from play. Banish, whatever you want to call it. 2 MST, self explanatory. Heavy Storm, self explanatory. Pot of Duality, once again, you know. Econ, just personal opinion on this, you know. Put in whatever you want for it. It's, it's just a good card all around. Scapegoat, just defensive powers. Uh, switching it up for another Pot of Duality would be highly recommended. Uh, 2 Fiendish Chain. Uh, now in people's, you know, budget, uh, just locks down effects and can't attack. So it's like a spellbinding circle, but advanced. And then two calls just to get out your gagagas. So then, two, your, ex your extra deck could be whatever you want it to be. So in my extra deck, what I usually do for exceeds... I usually play ones like Strike Bouncer, uh, Maystroke, Tyrus, Adrius, Pearl, C39, Utopia, and then two depending on if you want to play Synchros, you can play cards like Gravity Warrior, Stardust Dragon, Orient Dragon, Void Ogre, Dark End, Armor Master, Thought Ruler, and Colossal. It also works in my Chaos Decks uh, theme too. So yeah. That, my th that folks, is my Gaga -ga -ga deck. So if you guys think it's pretty cool or think you guys could change it a little bit, please let me know. Um, leave comments in the description or PM me. Uh, if you guys really want to buy this too, I price it for like 40 bucks just because of the Phoenix Chains, Duality, Gores. But this, the extra deck is not for sale. But yeah, so, thanks guys. Please subscribe. Uh, box, comp um, not competition, like contest going on. If you guys, if I can get to 100 subscribers, I might do a contest for a box. Maybe a Battle Pack Epic Dawn, Gold Series 5, or something along those lines. So, stay tuned. See you guys all later. You, Yo Boxer, signing out.